Well, I got that hole tapped for the screw in stud. I ended up making my own tap guide out of some plate and some sleeves that I made. This goes on over these two rocker studs here. And then this hole is the same size as the shank of the tap. So you just put the tap in there a little bit, put this over top of it, and it taps it in there nice and straight. So to make this, wherever I put it, I took the stud that I pulled out of here and I turned the end down on the lathe to the size of the shank of the tap. And since this is 3 8 it fit right into the hole that was already in there from when I pulled it out. Then I made these little sleeves here on the lathe. This is just some 5 8 round bar that I cut and then drilled 3 8 holes into. I put those two just set them down over these studs and then I set the plate on top of it with this in there tacked it and then pulled it off fully welded it and I had to beat on it with a hammer a little bit to get it perfectly straight because the welding made these pull a little bit but after I got that nice and lined up I just stuck the tap in here, put this over top of it, the tap bottom was in there and then the shank of it stuck out through this hole so it wouldn't go anywhere and then tapped it in there and now it's right where it needs to be. So I got the new studs, like I said I'm just doing this one for right now but you could do this for all of them. These are Mr. Gasket 1076 studs. These don't have the jam nuts on them so you don't have to machine this surface here. You don't have to machine this down. So you can just throw these in there. So 7 16 14 thread. So now you just put some thread sealant on there. And I'll thread that right in there. And you can see, kind of, maybe, that it's right where it needs to be. Put a straight edge up against it and it's right where it needs to be. So that's how I installed a screw-in rocker stud with some random stuff laying around.